Hello and welcome. How is everybody here today? Are you staying safe? For the people who do not know me, my name is Rochelle and my brand I've created online is called the DIY Affiliate. And I can help you as a new entrepreneur or business owner create and build a brand as an affiliate marketer. Do you want to learn the quickest, easiest, and most cost-efficient way to navigate through the affiliate marketing jungle? Everything that I do is free, and I create step-by-step -step tutorials that are very easy to follow. The only thing that I ask in return is if that you have found this video helpful to please like this video and give this video a thumbs up and also if you are interested in getting more videos from my channel then please subscribe and click the notification bell so you will be notified of all new postings in this video I am going to show this video is part of a series I am doing on in video. In this video, I show you about the text to video option two. Okay, so we are over at the invideo.io. You will find the link in the description. If you don't already have an account, then you can sign up for free. Just click on the sign up now and enter your information information in start your free account and pause the video so that you can follow along with me just your name your email password contact number and then and continue I am over at my own in video account now and I am just going to go into create I'm going to do a brief overview of a couple of minutes just to show you what is available to you within video. First of all, you have three main types of templates you can use. You can use the pre-made templates and as I scroll down to through the pre uh, the pre-made templates you can see the type of pre-made templates this is for YouTube media platforms that you can create these scroll shopping videos for Facebook story YouTube landscape Instagram story Facebook newsfeed Instagram post LinkedIn news newsfeed Twitter timeline IGTV Twitter timeline there's two different sizes here Facebook carousel ad YouTube story LinkedIn newsfeed Facebook news snapchat story Instagram post and Instagram post has two different sizes as well and then just a blank text. those are the social media platforms that you can create these short videos for if you check into the categories here you will see YouTube. you have the brand intro and outro you can also browse by topic brand promo long-form ads, branding templates, bite-size ads, product video ads, offers and coupons, COVID-19, video testimonials, video presentation, listicles, and you can actually click into view all and you can look at them all at once. These are the categories. Here you can look at the categories and you can see how many templates are available to you. change the image videos offers and coupons video testimonials product video ads motion quotes video presentations long-form ads 
branding templates, video invites, You can also look in the tutorials. And here you can see you have text editing, audio and music, video ads, exporting a video, image editing, add team members, and then my projects, media uploads, and you can view all of the tutorials. You can also find in the description the tutorials that I have created. You can start your free account today. Okay. So first of all, we created, I created a post for this NVIDIA project. And here is the post that I created. I'm just gonna click on the preview. This is inside the post that I created. And a preview in a new tab. There's a couple of things to remember. Creating a post that you are going to in video video. I know it gets a little confusing when you say in video video. Okay, so now the first thing to remember is you want to have the video under 30 scenes. And each scene is going to have and each one of the lines needs to be under 59 characters. And what I do is I go over to a place called Can Take You over to my Canva. Is this my yeah? This is my Canva. And I started with a free account with on with canva.com you can start with a free account today and you will have access to all of these social media canvases and also here's an example of the different types of graphics and images that I created for the NVIDIA Canva, you will have access to templates. Load your own photos. You will have access to two photo point here for Canva is the photos because photos are very important. We don't know whose photos they are when we are getting them from Google or Bing or wherever we get them from, and we may get a copyright. So if we just click into the photos here at Canva, and for the people who are creating videos already on YouTube, and you're just looking for that little bit of image or photo. And here you can see from the categories, fall, Halloween food, money, and I can scroll through here as soon as they're loaded. Okay, so you can see there are many photos that you can choose from if you just type in a, a keyword. Now I do have the pro account and this is the difference. Because I have the pro account, I have access to these crowned ones. When you have a free account, and I'm just gonna click on free right now, just so that only free comes up, this is what you will have access to. You will still have access to a lot of the different elements, which I'm going to show you. These are photos in which you can get into the photo. And here I just typed in the keyword WordPress. If I typed in the another. Now I don't want to take too much time on this. I have done tutorials on using Canva in which I will put the best ones in the description for you. Click on this undo arrow and get your picture back.
and just make a meal. Okay, well, moving on, this is your undo arrow, this is your redo arrow. So, and when you see this curved arrow, this means that you can change of your element, you can move it, and here you will see that lost my mouse, you can move your element in the direction the curved arrow is going. You can also see here up at the top in which you can crop. If I choose crop, then this will just show me my element I'm working with. If I choose flip, I'm trying to do this fast and my computer is not letting me. Okay, well anyways, this will flip the element. I'll try this one, see if it works better. Okay, so this is the crop. Okay, so now I'm just going back into here to show you the flip. Just click, click, clicking on flip. And here you will see a pop-up box and here you can flip horizontal or flip vertical. And you'll see these all over. It just will give you some information. Whenever you see a circle with an eye, it's an info box. And you can click into and it will tell you who the person is. It might give you some other information. You can add it to different folders. Okay. So now getting back to, I need to, to do this quite quickly because I don't want to take a lot of time on this. Okay. All right. So you can see the editing box come up. This is an element right here. So if I move this minus sign, on top of this pocket of cash. This is now on top. If I use the position, I click into my position, so now this tells me this is on top. If I want it to go to the back, I would click it backwards it will now disappear. If I want it to come forward, forward. If you have more than two uh, elements, say I put this one on top, well, this is actually another minus sign that shouldn't be there. Okay, so just clicking into this one. Say Now, this is now on top. Now here, when I click in position, now this is important information. When I first started, I didn't know this. I thought I, that elements were just disappearing on me. If I click on backwards, it will go behind the first element. If I click on backwards again, it will go behind the second element. And these are, if you want it to go to the top, to the left, to the middle, to the center, to the bottom, to the right. Okay. Now, this is an important button as well. This is transparency. 
this is my background and I have it a very light transparency. If I move the slider up, you will see that it comes in darker. It fills itself, it becomes more solid. Here it becomes more transparent, here it becomes more solid. And when you are ready with your image, you would just choose this download arrow and here this is your choice. You can do a PNG and they suggest that that's a lower quality or you can do a JPG which is a higher quality for using um, if you are using an image for your Kindle publishing, you need a JP. Okay. Um, now I am over at my in video, and we are going to be. Okay, so now we we have our images. So just pause the video, get your images ready over at Canva. Okay, so I've gone through a brief overview of the um, of the InVideo and the Canva. Now we're ready to start. We're going to click into the text to video. And here we're going to select a template. I'm selecting a YouTube landscape. For YouTube, this is what you are looking at. And this will tell you, you see here, this is where your headline is going to show up. And these are the colors that it will show up as. The hook. This is the hook of the video. You can also create a listicle, and now this will give you a list. You can also make a listicle a headline in the of your video, and I am going to show you that. Okay, so I am going to choose. this one here. So I'm just going to click in the downward arrow. Use this template. And here it tells me this template is okay. So now here you can add your head or you can go to option two 
and this is where we are going to option two is add the URL so now we're going to get the URL from the post that I created is giving me the whole preview and everything and I don't want that. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy that, go back over to InVideo and paste my URL in here. This is called a data scraper. And I'm gonna click on auto suggest images and videos and click fetch. Now in order for you not to spend a lot of time on doing the video, I'm going to show you some shortcuts, tips, and tricks that I have learned. And believe me, I did it the long way when I first started. There is a learning curve involved in this. Okay, so this is the information that I have fetched from my from my post now it will ask me do I want to auto summarize this or do I want to just add information like for instance if I wanted to add this I would just click on this it would then come over and I find that I this is a much easier way to do it because you can do the auto summarize but you will be doing more editing this way you can get what you actually want If you do this in the beginning, then you will have a lot less editing to do. And then once I have, now here, this tells me now I have 14 scenes so I'm going to go to my storyboard and 14 scenes is good you can do up to 30 but it will take longer and how long can you keep a person's attention for well that's doing that is this post here it's talking about a share a sale merch program share a sale does have uh, merchants who will do the auto approve and the auto deposit you will have to uh, check out my video that I created on choosing the auto approve and the uh, auto deposit merchants and also I used a banner and and I used a reusable Gutenberg block item HTML. So this is what I used in my post. And now I am creating a small scrolling video in which I can use for other places. So I'm just waiting for this to finish. Now it is setting up something called a story board. If you have not created images at Canva, you can use videos and images from the in video. The videos and images will have a watermark on them. And as you see here what it's doing, it's it's putting up images of what it thinks 
I have in my words. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. The so next video. These are the will images that it's used. Short when you see this for it, and safe. you click on them, you can see these are the images that it has used. I have my own images. And when you do your images at Canva, you upload them to your uploads here. You can see my images uploading. Okay, so we're just going to go into edit of this project right here so that I can show you the different story types. It would take too long to show you each one individually and I have done video tutorials which I will leave in the description. I wasn't quite sure how I was going to be presenting this because this is a lot of information and a lot of the this information can be quite boring for people and this in video here this has a lot of tutorials that you can watch just right from the company at your own time and your own pace